diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Jimmy Williams with Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Dan Luba, who's a defensive lineman out of Lenore Ryan. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. So uh, I have you listed here uh, about 6'1", 280, 285. That sounds yes, about sir. right? Okay. So, um, and, uh, you know, I've actually seen you really play all across the line, um, you know, just – You've played defensive end. You've played inside as well as a D tackle. Um, tell me just a little bit about your overall history as a football player. Uh, uh, in high school, I played uh, nose guard, actually, at like 6'1", 220 pounds. So when I came into college, I was kind of undersized. So I played, uh, came in at defensive end. And then later on in the season, my freshman year, they they moved me to – uh, D tackle. So then I put on, I, I guess around like 50 pounds uh, to accommodate my uh, switch. And I've just been playing different position online. If it's a three, four, I'm pl playing a uh, defensive end, or I could go to play a uh, nose tackle. Uh, just, just been around, just playing a D, just being a D lineman. Gotcha. I mean, uh, you actually had a Pretty good year last year. You ended up with, uh, what was it, 11 sacks, right? Um, yes, sir. And um, you've been uh, all, you know, first team all conference two times. So, yes, sir. Um, you know, hopefully going into this season, we can add to that. Um, talk to me a little bit about, um, well, maybe what you believe is like your, the, the best part about your game. Uh, I think my strength, honestly, uh, just been – just being a 600-pound squatter, just that's that's really like helped me and shaped me uh, to kind of like use my strength against people and be able to move people out my way. Um, especially as a D lineman, your one goal is to stop the run and uh, get to the quarterback. So that's really helped me uh, within my game. Uh, honestly, being a a wrestler back in high school has also helped me as well, uh, using my hands and being physical and just being mentally tough. Um, gotcha. And, and um, I mean, I realized last year was kind of difficult for you because you were, you know, uh, really couldn't use your hands as well as you wanted to. Um, yeah, I play with two clubs. So it was just that season was just kind of like a trial and tribulations. I still ended up with 11 sacks. Just being able to uh, kind of adjust my game uh, to know that, like, OK, I don't have hands. So I got to uh, play a certain way to um, help my team win and help my team uh, be better. Yeah, I was sitting here thinking, you know, you um, you, know, you played with two clubs last year and ended up with 11 sacks. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, what would happen if the guy actually had his hands? You know, <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you could have been looking at 15 sacks, you know, who knows? I mean. Most definitely. There's a couple of sacks I missed just because uh, just not being able to grab them or uh, just just um, not being able to do the stuff that I usually able to do with uh, both my hands. So. Gotcha. Well, I mean, with, uh, you know, two healthy hands, we'll see what we can uh, do this uh, coming season. Yes, uh, sir. Dan, talk to me a little bit, maybe just about some of the stuff that's uh, not football that you're doing at, um, at Lenore Ryan. Oh, um, I, my, my major is information technology. So uh, I kind of work with the IT house and kind of do uh, all the day-to-day -day things that they need me to do. Um, just, just trying to get a feel for uh, – because there's life after football, so just kind of get a feel for that different um, atmosphere. Um, I'm a part of Omega South Five Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, we do a lot of volunteer work, uh, help around the community um, with the soup kitchen, just being a part of – just trying to make myself a well-rounded person rather than just a football player. Cool. And um, tell me just a little bit, uh, what are some of your game day rituals? that you end up doing? I mean, is there anything that's kind of maybe changed throughout the years? I mean, uh, you know, some people have got some weird uh, traditions that they do. So tell me a little uh, bit about that. During, I mean, when I was in high school, I used to listen to like rap and just trying to get myself hyped up before the game. And one day, like my, my defensive coordinator came up to me and was like, 
yo, you should try listening to gospel. And I was like, N- I don't know. But then I, I definitely tried that. And ever since then, I've just been listening to gospel for games. That kind of helps me, like, chill out, kind of like the uh, calm before the storm. Kind of gets my mind right for uh, for the long game that's ahead of me. Uh, just kind of, like, soothes my soul, trying to uh, – gets me ready to be a, a great player. Gotcha. You know, um, tell me a little bit about your team. I mean, you guys have actually um, done well. I mean, uh, I think everybody, if they don't already know, uh, probably the biggest name that's come out recently is Kyle Duggar. Um, Tell me maybe just a a few good words about him and some of the other guys that you're um, your teammates with. Kyle Duggar was a uh, was a great teammate. I mean, like you, I I didn't really understand. Like people would come up to me and ask, like, "Oh, how was he? How was he? Like, who who was he in the locker room? Like, he was just a, a normal player. Like, we just we looked at him like he was just a normal player. We kicked it with him. Like, we hung out outside of uh, football. Like, it was just like he was just a normal dude. He was a great athlete, a great player, but like he was just a down to earth dude. Um, different players on my team. Just like uh, Jason Poe or Amari Houston, or even uh, Aaron J- Eric Jackson, uh, those are great players as well that uh, uh, will be coming back this season. So, um, just just great teammates and just uh, just phenomenal football players. Right. I mean, you guys have um, really a good, solid team. You know, uh, overall, definitely have a, a great defense there. Um, you know, a lot of the leaders still coming back um, this season. Um, tell me, Dan, you know, why do you play football? I play football just just for, like, being someone that people can look up to and being a great example for a uh, uh, like the community and even being a greater example for my little brother. Um, he looks up to me and I want him to show, I want to show him the path and give him the blueprint uh, to have a successful like life and everything I do, he watches. So I, w- I definitely don't want to be a bad example for him. Uh, lead him. I don't want to lead him down the wrong path. And football is just giving me the opportunity to be around people and be around uh, like different people and made me a, a well-rounded individual uh, just help me be a better man and be a better uh, person within the community. So. Gotcha. And um, Dan, give me your final pitch to a, a, a professional team. You know, uh, what's the best thing that you bring to the table? You know, why should they sign you? Uh, give you, you know, all this. Money. Uh, I feel like a team should definitely uh, sign me is, is just cause I'm a playmaker. I've just never, I've never just been another player. Like, at, at the different levels that I've been on, uh, high school and now college, like I've just, I've just been a playmaker. I've just been able to make people around me better. Uh, I've just been able to kind of control the, uh, kind of control the environment, control my surrounding, uh, just kind of like brought people's game to a whole nother level. Um, if I'm having a good game, nine t- times out of 10, everyone else around me is having a, a great game as well. Uh, just being that good energy around, just uh, being able to be the player that people look for and be the player that people um, ex- kind of expect to make those big plays and just being able to be uh, a great player in a sense. Gotcha. And, you know, uh, Dan, uh, you know, with with a guy at your size, six six one, you know, 285, um, you know, we, we've got some options, you know, and, you know, some people might want to keep you inside in, in a 4-3 or uh, put you out at a 3-tech or something. Or, I mean, I know when you, you know, originally came to uh, Lenore Ryan, like you were a defensive end. Um, I don't know if you, uh, you know, want to trim down as that much anymore. But uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, you, you have some options moving forward. Uh, you know, just to, you know, move around on that defensive line. So, uh, and, and obviously, as we saw from last year, uh, you know, 11 sacks with two clubs. I mean, people have really got to know who you are. So, um, hey, Dan, uh, this has been awesome. It's great to sit and talk with people 
uh, you know, talk to them about their stories. You have a great story. Uh, people need to learn a little bit more about you and, and know that Lenora Ryan is legit. So, um, most definitely been put on the map and people are, you know, are on notice. So, uh, but Hey man, best of luck to you this season and, uh, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, as a professional, take it easy. Thank you.